But yeah, like I said in the previous video, I'm not scared of them people anymore. They scared me previously. You know, they tried to really... Then people, then people tried to take my kids. They tried to make me feel like I was a crackhead. The crackhead mama that left her baby in the trash from losing Isaiah. I'm a blossom. I don't need a bottom line to my robbery. I'm official on a dotty. You can hit a room, room in my robbery. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Because they're older, that it gets easier with trying to get them to go someplace. It doesn't. Know how to start this off but if you're a mom single mom specifically a voice who hit puberty and have beards that connect by the age of 16 uh let me know down in the comment section because i am currently in walmart trying to find a razor that is going to help my child um look like a child he don't want to look like the opt he don't want to look like the cops he don't want to look like paul blart at the mall on a lark uh little mama Caggiano and anyway so um we're here and I'm thinking of the one with the, like the swivels just because it's a close shave but it's not a close shave he's not licking himself because if it's a razor he might have to put like the little toilet tissue outcast if you know you know on his chat I have no clue what I'm doing absolutely no clue and I need help apologies I am not at Walmart, baby. I don't even go into Walmart. I don't even know the last time I went to Walmart. I'm in Target, okay? <laughs> the spirit of Target said, no ma'am, no ma'am. Um, so we're debating on these like little flexy ones right here because they conform to your face. But we don't know. And then do you need like the whipping cream on your face? Like the shaving cream when you do this thing? Or is it like a dry shave? I feel like I need to stop a man with a beard, but if he has a beard, then he's not shaving it. No, yeah, but he ain't he ain't using he ain't using the, the precision. But I just don't want him to get nicked, and I need him to be able to do. Can you use this every day? I am not a man. I ain't trying to beat one either. I'm gonna have to stop a man, call a man, somebody, right now. Now Gigi's here. Um, for more moral support, I'm not gonna put her on the camera because I don't know if she wants to. Chill. Well, let's just look at her feet. She's got her feet done. How you doing, feet? Okay, she don't want her feet on the camera. She don't want nothing on the camera, child. Anyway, that's how I feel, baby, in the background. I'm trying to figure this out. I would like to take this up to customer service so they could like take the little security thing off because nobody wants to get tackled like a running back and get you know a little brain damage you know just cuz we're in target um just to see what it's looking like because they don't have a a sample one out here y'all please don't judge me okay i'm a single mother of four kids i'm a lady i don't know what i'm doing i don't have a lifeline to call <laughs> pause i know we got kids and we're trying to find a razor and i did find a saint on the aisle in the form of a six foot two man with a beard tapped on the shoulders that God's gonna bless you today. He's got you on a mission with a single mother. But I just found the cutest skirt. Let's try it on. Oh, did you hear my bone crack? Baby, we, we, we are of a particular age. Be quiet. You're gonna hear a lot of things cracking, squeaking, popping. Ah. It's giving very much 90s denim skirt. Slit down the middle. It's giving teacher. Breach's wife, maybe. Sunday school teacher, baby, I don't know, professional. I can bend over, pick up some things, open up some houses. Really cute. I wouldn't wear it with these shoes because these is my bricks. These is my, my walking shoes. But yeah, you know, just, you know, I might just put it with like a cute white crisp button down top i don't know like i can just be comfortable working on a professional casual friday this is giving very much casual friday super cute i'm getting it i'm getting it girl i'm getting it i don't need it but i'm getting it okay back to shopping for my son's razor 
When, where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody's gonna. That song is just eating me up, y'all. Mm, eating me up. Max came to Target and he said, Oh, when we gonna leave? Baby, you don't get to ask Target when you gonna leave. Target tells you when you're gonna leave. Oh, that's cute. Mm hmm. You need a bigger bean bag, though. You like that one? Yeah. But we're gonna get there the first time he did it it was like with a razor and i don't think that was comfortable for him because he felt a little forced it was for photos staged photos might i add <laughs> let me catch myself laughing laughing too hard laughing too hard um and then you know he was thrown to the wolves he doesn't know how to maintain it so it just wasn't a genuine experience that he could learn from. It was kind of like, hurry up and do this because we got to do this. Let's table this conversation for the car chat, shall we? I think that's, that's a good thing to do. Yeah, let's, let's table it. Let's table it and let's table some food on the table, shall we? Let's make some dinner tonight, you guys. On the menu, it's... Hey, Max. Chicken adobo. I've made this meal several times. Let me put on my ocular limitations, y'all. Cause <laughs> when I say I can't see, I can't see. <laughs> she can't see <laughs> without them. Anyway, praise God, I can't see with them. Amen. Yes, God, thank you. Amen. Um, so I am gonna pull my chicken out. I went to the commissary today and got a whole bunch of meat, y'all, for like two hundred dollars. Actually, like a hundred ninety-four dollars, but it's a ton of meat. Okay, lots of it. I love the commissary. That's one of the good things about having a baby daddy who was in the military. At least I get to get to keep some benefits via the kids. Just saying. So um, I've got some chicken wings. I'm salivating already because I'm, I'm a foodie. I'm a girl that likes to eat, baby. Um, I ain't getting no skinny. I'm just getting thicker. I'm just saying. Okay, just saying. I've got my chicken wings. I cut with kitchen shears and then clean them, of course. Okay, clean your chicken. <laughs> just like you clean it. <laughs> oh, my God. I be about to say things and I, re I realize. Girl, you on the internet. You can't be saying everything. Clean your chicken like you clean your coochie. You can't be saying that. Oh, my God. Just Girl, clean it. Just saying. I digress. Back to the chicken. I marinated it with some soy sauce, garlic, bay leaves, and vinegar. If you want the exact measurements, I ain't got it for you because I measure with my spirit. I measure with what my ancestors tell me to do. And actually, this is a Filipino recipe that I got from my aunt who happens to be authentically from the Philippines. So I measure based on her ancestors to what her ancestors told her. So I ain't really got the recipe for you, baby. Don't believe me. Just watch. Okay? Just saying. So, um, but if you do want it, I could probably muster up something for you. It's just... Uh, one fourth cup to half a cup of soy sauce, depending on how many wings you're doing. Now, I'm doing the big family pack, okay? About 30 wings, half a cup of soy sauce. 
or one fourth cup. And then you're gonna do one fourth vinegar, three bay leaves and garlic. Can't forget the garlic. So I have this in a bowl and a Ziploc bag with everything marinating. I also am going to be making some cabbage with it because girl, I don't know, girl, like it's my Caribbean roots. Like you just got to have cabbage with stuff. Okay. Just saying. Um, so cabbage and some rice. Praise God for Jesus. And I'm going to cut up some bell peppers and some onions to go into the cabbage. And oh, I need to cut up some onions to go with the chicken. Let's do this thing. Let's do, let's do it. Okay, let's do this. I don't feel like cooking, but I'm cooking. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, I know what y'all saying. Girl, you got Caribbean roots? I, girl, I do, which explains a lot of my personality. Okay. West Indian. Okay. And Dominican. Okay. Girl. Ain't that, ain't that something? A full aha, full circle moment. Like, okay, girl, <laughs> that explains a lot. Now, I never claim to be from there. Don't come over here and talk about, yeah, I never said that, honey. I'm from Florida. But most Floridians have Caribbean roots. I mean, it's just a stone throw away. It's just a 30 minute flight. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, my great grandfather, not my mom's father, but my mom's father's father is um cha fresh out of water okay um and he was dominican and west indian or west indian and dominican um and it's just nice let me turn this heat down because we're about to be fine it's just nice as someone who is african-american you don't know much about where you're from like not like if you're from you know the uk most people know where they're from you know Canada, they know wherever they're from, but a lot of African Americans do not know where their roots began and end. So it's just beautiful to be able to know and to be able to trace back some things. And eventually, I will take a trip to, like, you know, just find out more about him, find out more about his life, um, and you know where we came from beyond that. That's what I want to know. But you know, at least we know. Now let's make this cabbage. Adding my onions. I keep them like that because it's identifiable. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people don't like all the onions and the peppers and stuff, but you know, I do. But for the most part, my kids love the cabbage. Give me a spoon, son. A spoon that's the same as the pan, because we don't want no plastic milking. Who I should have put this in a bigger pot, yeah? Oh, I didn't think about this. Next step is the ooh, onions. I did put the cabbage in a bigger pot in the back, y'all. I just moved it to a different eye because I like working from this side. I'm gonna add the onions. Actually, I was supposed to saute the chicken. I'm all out of sorts right now, y'all. Sometimes it be that way. So I'm just gonna saute the onions. Between trying to show y'all what I'm actually doing in my life <laughs> and actually do what I'm doing in my life and, and, and not burn the food, y'all, girl, I, I ain't even, I ain't even get to show y'all the recipe, but I have filmed this recipe plenty of times. I'll link it and it's a full breakdown of everything. So yeah, I'm just making everybody's place right now. Cabbage and then the chicken is gonna go on top of the rice alongside the cabbage. This will be nice rice. Rice and cat how was the cabbage? Max is my sampler. Everybody everybody gets samples for Max. He tends to hang around the kitchen to get the samples. And more. 
Jojo, you want cabbage? Yes. Okay. Izzy, do you want cabbage? I've got everybody's bowls. The only thing I'm gonna do is add a garnish, which is chives and um, roasted sesame seeds, which are an option. And I forgot to get drinks, so it's just water tonight, but they need to drink water, okay? They always drinking something else with dinner and getting desserts and stuff, but they need to drink water, so I'm gonna make my plate. I've got um, everybody's plate, including my mom's. She talk about she only eat drums, and that's on the barbecue cookout, okay? Like, she don't mess with flats. I, I like flats. I'm a flat eater. But with this meal, because it's fall off the bone, I can kind of go in between. But, yeah, I'm normally a flats girl. But it is what it is. This is really good. Anyway, okay. Time to eat. Yep. Five star he always cuts his wings with a knife. Also, He's so, eat eat so they fall off the bone, though. Okay, so this is my plate, you guys. I topped it with some sesame and some chives. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's saying grace? Me. Please, thank you, God. Uh, no, no. Thank you, God. No, thank you, God. Go ahead, Joe. Go ahead, baby. Thank you, God, for this day. And we hope that everybody has a great day tomorrow. And that Izzy and me ace our test tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that we ace that spelling before tomorrow. And that we get all our work done. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Maximus, you started eating beforehand. No, Don't I'm worry, Pastor. Don't worry, Pastor. You going to get to pray, okay? Okay? No, tomorrow. No, you going to pray before bed for the family, okay? Family meeting. Thank you. <sighs> One thing I'm going to always do to put that disclaimer before the mom car chat because this is the mom car chat where chats will be had honey this is a safe space a safe place for us mothers specifically single mothers because you know people already don't want to hear a mom complain anyway but god forbid a single mother complain because for some reason we should have known better we should have been able to spot the liar okay the liar who is good at lying. But that's the scam of it all. But when have you ever known a liar to ever pop out of the bushes and be like, hey, I'm lying. I'm about to ruin your life. That's like a tiger on the African safari saying, hey, I'm about to eat you. I'm about to eat your ass up. They never do that. Maybe they creep, they stalk, and they bounce. And before you know it, life ruined. You ain't got no legs. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have any legs to stand on after everything was done and said, said and done because I was bamboozled. I was scammed. It was fraudulent. Better yet, entrapment. Mm -hmm. However, because I'm a mother, I'll never really want to undo the fact that four beautiful living beings came from that. That's the only positive thing that came from that was my children, okay? The thing, I lay it low and spread it wide again just to get it. Because that's the only thing that was good. Okay, I'm just saying. Clearly, I never said no. And he never said he ain't never wanted. <laughs> but yeah, like I said in the previous video, I'm not scared of people anymore. They scared me previously you know they tried to really the people then people tried to take my kids they tried to make me feel like i was a crackhead the crackhead mama that left her baby in the trash from losing isaiah like baby i don't belong in court my family don't belong in court what are we doing here but it was too much of trying to one-up me because Y'all was over there looking like the villains that you are. Okay. No beauty and the beast. And, you know, that was their way of getting me back. We'll do this to her then. I gotta wrap this up because it's getting, it's getting dark outside and I gotta go make dinner. It's been a very long day, but yeah. I only talk about these things just because I know it's relatable 
and I know that it's 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 good to have like someone who you could be like okay they're going through the same thing but they're still pushing through it they're still making it they're they're still coming through the other stuff coming through the other side so that's why i talk about these things that's why i think the car chats are important um just just to have but when it comes to him he doesn't add value to he doesn't add value to my motherhood, to my mothership, to me being a single parent. It's more like he decreases the value. He, It's difficult. He's made it difficult to enjoy being a mother during some of the and most important years that I don't get back, I won't get back. Some of the memories that I have are very painful, very traumatic. I've had to go sit on a couch and talk about it to get through those things. I've had to go to church, pray about it, cry about it you know, and just get through it. And there is no calling him and asking him anything about my kids because I never forget, uh, I had just gotten my own place. Some of my only will remember this, I had just gotten my own place. And it was tough, girl, it was rough. Like, I didn't know whether I was going up, down, left, or right with just bills, okay? Bills, being, being head of the household, kind of bills lights water groceries clothes car note insurance girl you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about but I had gotten a place and my child support was 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 nothing it was like maybe three hundred dollars for four kids uh, m maybe the most five hundred dollars you know what I'm saying somewhere around that ballpark for four children and I'm the head of my household and I have no help and at, at that time, I didn't know how much child support I would get. I was listening to him telling telling me that I wasn't going to get nothing from him. I'm going to get a dime. That's all I was going to get from him because according to his pay, that's all I could get. That was a lie. <laughs> okay. Um, and I asked him for $100. He laughed, told me to go get another job. I never, at that moment, I said, I'll never ask him for anything else again because it was for his kids and I was dubbed like a loser a loser mom for asking for that and then he went on the internet and told people that I was asking for a hundred dollars like it's laughable like it's funny you know and, and when I say the internet he went to some darkest darkest of the websites y'all where all they do is talk about bad about people child um, and at that time like I was in a very bad place. I didn't, I didn't need to, it hurt my mental health. It definitely hurt my mental health. And I just never asked him for anything again. And that's when I was like, okay, well fine. I just gotta go to court for child support. If he was smart, he would have gave me them po ass little hundred dollars because now instead of giving me three to 600 five or $500 for child support, it's 2,166. $2,100, almost $2,200 a month. You do the math. 2200 times 12. What's that? How much? How much How much is that? Yeah. You should have gave me the little pole ass $100. You should have been like, damn, that's all she want. Do you know what I'm saying? That, that, that That's all she wants. And um, he thought he was a big man on campus. But unlike him, I didn't, I wasn't live with anybody else. I didn't, I didn't marry anybody else 90 days after. Um, my divorce. I didn't have a helpmate. I didn't have somebody helping me pay half of the bills. Okay, you know, he couldn't even pay all the bills in his household. You, you, you gotta pay. You know what I'm saying? You, you had somebody helping you. So actually, I was the big man on campus, and I didn't even know it. That's the con of it all, and I, you know, that's one of the reasons why I share is sometimes people will try and make you feel like you're doing the least and that's really them projecting you know he was really doing the least you know you needed help financially i was only asking for an extra hundred dollars on top of pennies to the dollar for a family that you helped create and i'll never convince a single mother or tell a single mother that oh well you should feel lucky that you're getting that. No, you should not feel lucky that you're getting anything. You should be getting help. You shouldn't feel lucky for getting the help that you're getting because you created kids with somebody. They should be helping you. You should not be lucky. There is no luck in that. 
there's a disparity in not feeling like it's normal. That part, okay? But yeah, I was a big man on campus. I was doing it. So anyways, y'all, I say that to say all this. I ain't call him about my son's razors. None of that because it is what it is. We are at where we're at in our relationship and I can do it myself. And that's just a part of being a single, a single mom. Sometimes you have to do it yourself. Sometimes you have to be like, you know what? I'm going to pick this battle. I'm just going to do this. I am going to take back that razor just because I feel like I do want to n not just not just have it be a one-off for him. I want to teach him how to shave properly and get comfortable with it. And I don't want him to get ingrowns with that one. So I'm probably going to take that back. And I want to get him like a nice gift basket of like, you know, manscaping exfoliants the whole experience so that it's enjoyable because y'all saw him run he was running he was running he was running for real he was running for real, <laughs> running for real because he just doesn't enjoy the experience he doesn't know how to enjoy the experience of being a man and um i that's my job to teach him and, and, and that's what i'm gonna do I, i'm the daddy and before anyone says oh but you should let him be that i have tried i can't raise a man k michelle I can't remind you what you need to do as a dad. Like, I can't remind you to have male talks with your kids, your your male kids about being boys, puberty, all the stuff that comes along with being a man, all that stuff. Like, I can't because they'll never know. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's my job to kind of fill in the gap positively, reassuringly. And uh, that's what I'm doing. Like, I shouldn't have to tell a grown man, you need to have these conversations or you need to do this. And then that grown man be like, well, they should just ask me, baby, it's your job to lead. You're the adult. Be, be the leader. So, yeah, that's why I say I'm, I'm a father. So I need your thoughts. I'm going to stay ten toes down. Look how I rose from the ground. I'm not in these hoes and I can't take it. I'm a blossom. I don't need a bomb on to my rock. I'm a fish on a dot. You get a room, room in my rock. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't mean it this far. I'm not sorry.